Hi everyone, welcome back to another dialogue. Today, a special episode to make your own coaxial cable. Fantastic quality, very, very cheap. Shh, come on, let's go. Okay guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. As you know, every once in a while, I make my own cables. Because, as I always say, you do not have to go out and buy those multi-billionaire cables that cost thousands of euros and dollars. You just need to find the right materials, quality materials, and assemble them. It's not that difficult, especially a coaxial cable like this one. So if you got a new CD player, a new DAC, or something that has a digital connection, you're gonna need one of these. And if you follow my instructions, you're gonna have one of the best cables you can do on your own or that you can buy, trust me. Are you ready? We're gonna go through the main steps. You're also gonna find all the links in the video description, description of my past cables, because I did several types. So if you're interested in that topic, you're gonna, you're gonna find them. And I'm gonna see you right after the build. Let's go. Okay guys, so in order to do our nice little cable, we're gonna need a few instruments, okay? I'll tell you what is mandatory, what you really need, and what instead you can just bypass if you don't have or find alternative solutions. Okay, so let's start with a decent quality pair of scissors. Electrician scissors would be best, but in any case, a good quality pair, pair, pair of scissors is absolutely mandatory. You can use these to strip the wire, otherwise it would be better if you have something like this, okay? These this type of, of pliers, or something also like this. Uh, I also love these a lot. These are more expensive. This is a little more basic, but it's fantastic. So also something like this would be perfect. Once again, you can use these to strip the wire if you don't have these, it's not mandatory. Then we're gonna need a soldering iron, Nothing too fancy. This is a normal soldering iron. I can regulate here the, as you can see, the, the temperature, but I mean, that's not mandatory. Just a decent quality soldering tool. Obviously, if you solder a lot, you already have your, your gear. You're not gonna need that. In any case, we do, we do need this. And since we're gonna do a 100% silver cable, and, and in any case, I always recommend, suggest, to go with silver soldering wire. In this case, one of the best, the Mundorf Supreme, which already has flux. If you don't have flux, it's better if you get some flux to have a better joint. If you had just have normal soldering, tin, lead, whatever it is. This has a good amount of uh, percentage, 3.5 flux. In any case, this is, based on silver, so it's perfect. It's one of the best type of connections you can get. Okay, then we're gonna need something like this if you want. These are heat shrinks. I have a box with multiple types. You just need a pair uh, of two colors, usually red and black, in order to know the, the, the channel. In this case, we're just gonna do, we're gonna just gonna need one because we're doing one cable so then i can have fun for example with a yellow one we'll see in any case not mandatory don't worry but i'll leave them here then clearly we're gonna need our cable and here it is just shipped from the factory and i highly recommend this type of wire this is the neotech NEVD 2001 75 ohm cable. Okay, that's important. This is pure solid silver. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. In any case, it's a solid core. It's 
very well shield as you can imagine it already has a nice finish well decent i'm not crazy about it but it's decent it's not just pvc and you does you obviously choose the length you want one two meters no problem from that point of view here is our nice cable and clearly you're going to need to invest oh i forgot to say the price this is 66 euro so more or less i would say 70 dollars at least from the shop i'm going to link in the video description that i am using here in france well i'm in italy but here in europe but i'm sure you can find it for more more or less the same uh, amount of money online in the us or other places or ebay ebay has a lot of independent we can say sellers who sell this stuff in fact the connectors i have got them from ebay here are our wbt connectors the important thing once again these i got them off ebay at a very good price they're they're official they're 100 genuine and the peculiarity of this is that these are the connectors are 100 percent uh, silver okay pure silver as the cable plus these also are 75 ohm connectors okay so we have a fully 75 ohm connection which is paramount for a coaxial type of cable which we're trying to do there's also a little bit of instructions you also get a little allen key as you can see to uh to screw in the cable so it doesn't move out from the body but we'll see that in detail in a sec i forgot to say if you want to use a heat shrink you can use a heat gun if you have one clearly otherwise you can just use a um, a free flame like a, a lighter or even um your hair dry at the maximum power no problem there and when you're coming to solder you're probably going to need something to hold the different parts i have this clamp I just put my pieces here and I fix it on the table. But don't if you don't have something like this, don't go out and buy it. You don't need something like this. Here is a picture of that type of miniature clamp you can use when people are doing like ships and trains and modellismo in, Ital in Italian. I don't remember how you say it in English. In any case, you got the picture, which is just neat, useful to keep to hold on the cable and the connector or one or the other while you're trying to solder. I want to say this since the start i am not a good solderer everyone knows this i want to state it when i'm good at something i i state it as well in this case i'm not so please uh, forgive me for my bad skills but in any case the results are going to be there okay let's start so let's see how these are structured so we better understand what we're going to have to do you just have to open them this way okay this is the body and here, as you can see, we have a little locking mechanism, see, which with the little dedicated Allen key, we're going to open. As you can see, there's a little um, a screw that holds the cable in position. Very helpful. And here it's a little difficult because you have these two little notches, which must be pushed in order to take this out. And at that point, it will be more easy to see to do the connections on one side and the other, because clearly we're going we're gonna to have uh, the pin, the hot pull and the ground on this other part, all silver, as you can see. Very nice. OK, clearly remember that when you're going to start soldering the wire here, you must put this part before doing anything on the cable itself okay like this and now there's a piece of, uh, of tape and there's the screw you have to unscrew it and make it go inside so then you just slide it back in and then you can screw the final part okay otherwise if you do this you're not going to be able to put this anymore okay unless you have the other part still open clearly let's start preparing our nice little cable as you can see it's pretty normal 
nothing special here you have the the plastic here is a scheme a detailed scheme of the composition of this cable how it is structured which materials are employed very very fine very very cool and as you can see as i said solid core a silver with teflon insulation fundamental to have a good quality cable keep that darn the electric constant low okay so we can just pull this a little back so we can work on here we don't need that much so i would say just to make sure it's naked a little piece let's try with these doesn't fit properly it's probably not the best choice but i prefer using this type for now and just work my way there you go nice so here we have this nice braid is going to go on the ground okay so you can already start joining this a little bit this is going to go together with the ground and it's going to go on the cold pin this should be the teflon okay guys i just wanted to show you that I've stripped the upper part just with the with the scissors very simply otherwise no need of this because as you know I'm doing this for the first time so that's why you, you're seeing me do different tentatives different tries to in order to do the best thing in any case as you can see now we have the um, the external shield here the brace all wind up ready to be tinted and the uh, the conductor the main conductor and silver we're both gonna tint them with the mundorf supreme you ready let's start let's heat the objective of your cable meaning the conductor and the winded up brace okay not directly the wire or both together if you can Decent, not good, but at least we're ready to go. I'm gonna fix now these here. Not too strong. As we said, let's unscrew this. There we go. Let's put it on the cable. I'll put the measurement of the maximum type of cable this type of connector can accept. This is really uh, at the maximum, but don't worry, it works. Okay, let's just fix it for now. So we need to connect one and the other. Now the black part is the hot pole, okay? The white part is the ground. So practically we're gonna connect the silver part here and this other part here. And I like the way they're separated. That's pretty nice, that's pretty cool. Also, we're going to pretend this part, okay? That's also a good idea. Heating up the part that is receiving. Okay. Let's start with the ground. That's done. Not beautiful, but done ready to be used at this point we just unlock it 
unlock this part here. Let's let it go ahead every time it comes out. It clicked in decently. Once again, I'm sure you're gonna do much better than me. If you want, you can check if this is conducting voltage with a multimeter. I'm not gonna do that at the end, just to make sure everything is correct. I think it's important to signal this. Okay, make sure the screw goes nicely inside, that this is nice and firm. At that point, you can put back the cap. Now let's make sure, see this one got a little bent. The ground must not touch the rest, okay. Here we go. I'm not a big fan of this type of screwing lock mechanism because you have to screw them in order to have a nice good joint. And every time you have to detach them and untach them is a nightmare. In any case, this was the only one I found, pure silver, 78 ohms. I'm sure there are many more out there. If you find them and they're cheaper, go for them. Okay, so if we want to have something a little more fancy here on this side, we actually would need to detach this. But at this point, I don't care that much. Let's just do a nice yellow one. Let's see what I have. This one looks good, but I have to do it on this other side. Because if you get, if you choose too much of a big one, it's not gonna work. One, and two for the second one. I would just cut the nasty part. There you go. Then you just put this. We can use our heat gun. and ta-da there we have our nice little cable repeat on the other side okay guys so now you finally have your hi-fi necklace fantastic so let me know if when you go out and parties the things like that if people are liking it and leave your comments here below as you know i'm interested in your feedback if you're making these type of cables Bye guys, and remember, music is born analog. Hi guys, I just wanted to add that I completed a test now, just for security, and the results are outstanding. I was not expecting this. I did other cables in the past, but this Neotech, wow, it's incredible. Everything just got better. Huge fat bass, fantastic highs, nice rich mid-range, incredible incredible truly you guys you have to try this and for those who are skeptical i just want to remember that digital travels on an analog signal also known as voltage bye well guys if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below also don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community